Now we're talking parenting now and in particular dental health. Thousands of New Zealand children are having to get teeth pulled under general anaesthetic every year. Joining me today on And Mum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group, specialist paediatric dentist Katie Bage and from the parenting place Joy Sluters. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Mal. Lovely to have you both here. Katie, let's start with you. What are the biggest problems you see with kids' teeth? Well, I think we always see a lot of things on TV about children with terrible teeth and a lot of teeth being taken out but in my private practice sometimes what I see is parents that maybe aren't aware of the importance of regular dental checks or possibly su added sugars or extra sugars in food and then are horrified when their children have holes in their teeth and problems so mm. I think it's someone that affects a lot of children in New Zealand. In some parts of New Zealand up to 50% of children have decay in their teeth. 50% of children and this is I mean this is obviously something that's occurring more and more. Absolutely, and with finding the severity is getting worse as well. Wow. Um, Joy, wh where are we going wrong, do you think? I think um, with education, really. But mm. Children are just growing up um, with free access to snacks and food, and, and a lot, there's a lot of hidden sugar in food and drink. Um, people may think that giving juice is a healthy option as opposed to fizz, but there's so much sugar in juice. And it, just educating parents and children around um, the, the good healthy options of, of drinking milk and water as opposed to fruit juice and fizz. Because mm, sometimes we think we're doing the right thing for our children, but we're really not. Yeah. And also, Keep going. Sorry. <laughs> and also educating them around dental practice, you know, cleaning their teeth twice a day, establishing those routines early with little toddlers so that you know, they just have this, this routine in place and they'll always brush their teeth twice a day. Mm. Katie, what do you think parents need to know about the impact of added sugar on children's teeth? I think parents need to be really careful about looking at what they're feeding their children and looking at labels. Not all foods are equal. Even if you look at the back of the yogurt packets in the supermarket, just the value of sugar in all of them is dramatically different. And I always like to tell my parents when they come into the clinics to really try and give their children as many whole foods as possible as they as they came not in packets and just really watching dried fruits, muesli bars, mm. raisins, sometimes even those squeezy pouch yogurts can be really full of sugar. Mm. And that's what's so good about this is that actually no added sugars in this toddler mm. milk which is, which is wonderful. Uh, because that is the thing, we think we're giving our children healthy treats with muesli bars sometimes but they can be full of all sorts of things. Absolutely. Mm. Easter is this weekend. <laughs> Let's talk about that for a moment. So do we need to be avoiding chocolate altogether? Oh, that's a bit drastic. <laughs> God, I'm glad you said that. Um, I would encourage parents to maybe talk to their relatives who tend to be the main offenders in excess. So talk to them about perhaps, you know, buying a book on Easter or maybe some bunny ears and a fluffy tail for dress-ups to not necessarily go the chocolate way, but if eggs are not negotiable then ask them to maybe just provide the little eggs rather than the giant chocolate bunnies. And then let's get the kids outside doing some exercise and hide those eggs and race around the garden hunting for them mm. so you're getting exercise as well as chocolate intake. And you don't have to eat it all at once. No, you can well, you save do, them. but no, no, I know. Some people, you definitely don't have to eat it all at once. You don't. You could save them and bake with them and, and just don't stuff them in. And hide those eggs so well in the garden that they never find them. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. That's the trick. Find them three months later. Yeah. Uh, so we talked a little bit about teeth brushing mm. before with um, toddlers and children. What about flossing? Do we start with them that young as mm. well? I think as soon as the children's teeth start to look like they're getting closer together, then they need to get the flossing happening. And as parents, we need to do the flossing until they're probably confident about seven would you seven say? yeah mm. yeah but um, definitely as soon as they're, if they're moving in close then the floss needs to be happening again establishing great practices with with dental hygiene mm, you want to start mm. that young because yeah. I know Katie yeah. as a parent too you can often feel extremely guilty when absolutely. your child needs to have a have a mm. filling absolutely and that's why we want to get kids in as early as possible take them for regular checkups and just make sure they're getting in there and seeing a dentist and getting advice. What about thumb sucking and, and, um, and dummies and things? How do they have an effect? Because you hear all sorts of stories yeah. about those on toddlers' teeth. I get some very stressed parents coming in to see us about, you know, everyone's got an opinion on dummies and thumb suckings for parents. Um, I think in toddlers, look, Joy, no, you've got a lot of challenges with a toddler, I'm sure. So probably dummies and thumb suckings is not in a toddler something that I'd want them to give up straight away. Obviously when they're six, seven, eight, then yes, we need to be mm. doing something about that. But often I find once they go to kindy or school with sort of, you know, their peer groups mm. and their 
and they seem to stop. And how mm. often should we be doing those those checks, those dental checks? We like to see children really every six months. Things mm. can be changing in children, their diets, okay. their habits, their behaviours. Great advice. Mm. Thank you both so much for coming in and for joining us on the Coffee Group. Now, it's brought to you by Anmum Pedia Pro 3, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. Now, if you have any worries that you'd like addressed by our parenting panel, message us on the Cafe Facebook page. One contributor will win this very cool e-book from Anmum that allows you to record your voice Sweet. Reading the story. Like, here's a special bedtime story from me, just for you. I read that for Mike, and he's not sick of it at all. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> to this week's winner, Julie Ross.